I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. What does, quote, limited atonement mean, and is it biblical? Well, limited atonement is actually the third of five, shall we say, doctrinal distinctives of what we know as Reformed and or Calvinistic theology. Uh, total depravity, unconditional election, limited atonement, irresistible grace, uh, perseverance of the saints. That being said, it is a doctrinal construct that in its purest historical form means that Christ, when he went to the cross, only shed his blood, only made atonement for those whom the Lord knew or had predestined to be saved. So the question is, that's what it is, is it biblical? Well, I struggle with the purest form of limited atonement because John 3.16 says, whosoever believeth. 2 Peter 3, 9 says that God desires that none perish. There are so many passages in the Bible referring to God's love, his mercy, his grace extended to all and to humanity as a whole. I do believe in a limited atonement in the sense that not everybody's going to be saved. Only those who call on the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved, but not in its purest doctrinal construct that's made its way through the last 400 years. So again, I personally believe the Bible says that whomever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, not just those that are quote unquote been predestined, which is where limited atonement comes in. Now, I have a friend of mine who says that limited atonement is a doctrine from the pit of hell. I don't know if I'd go that far, but I honestly believe it is not biblically sustainable. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.